Tight ends are the Swiss Army Knives of football. These amazing athletes are built to block, catch, and bulldoze their way to the end zone. Many times, dragging defenders along the way. So what we want to know is, can one of the NFL's best tight ends drag the game's biggest defender across the goal line for the ultimate touchdown? To find out, we recruited a lethal weapon, NFL tight end, Vernon Davis. Vernon's career started out with a bang. His first NFL catch was a 31-yard touchdown. His speed and strength make him a nightmare for defenders. And he doesn't shy away from contact. I love dragging people. When a guy wraps around my waist or pulls on my jersey, my feet are just going. That's all I can think about, just keeping my feet moving. Before Vernon drags the equivalent of the NFL's biggest defender, we're going to let him warm up against sports science host John Brinkus. If John played in the NFL at 160 pounds, he'd be the lightest player in the league. Vernon will be wearing a harness with a rope attached to the back. Our lab rat will be holding on to that rope, doing anything he can to stop this beast from pulling him over the goal line. I think that he's going to be dragged across the field like a little rag doll. Oh, my god. I would be holding on for dear life like this. And to measure the force of Vernon's power surge, John will be wearing state-of-the-art TechScan pressure sensor gloves. So as long as I can hold on to this, we're going to get a reading as to how much force you're actually generating. All right. This goes down. It's one of those ideas that sounded good on paper. And now when we're putting it together, mm -hmm. I'm starting to question whether or not yeah. I should actually do this. <laughs> Anybody want to take a bet on this? Will I be able to hold my ground against Vernon Davis? No one's, no one's buying it. I've been feeling this is a very bad idea. Can John keep Vernon from his goal of getting into the end zone? I'm about to get dragged for science. Time to find out. All right. I'm not sure how good of an idea this is, but here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh. oh, my God. It's no contest. <laughs> John barely breaks Vernon's stride, gets thrown four feet up in the air, crash lands 12 feet later, and slams into the turf with a teeth rattling 600 pounds of force. And that's all before he gets dragged 20 yards downfield. Is that up, buddy? Oh, help. Oh. Got a little grass in your mouth. Oh, my god. It was fun pulling a little 160-pound guy. So how was Vernon able to pull John with such ease? The tech scan gloves reveal that Vernon generates 1,200 pounds of force making John experience the scientific principle known as jerk. John accelerates from zero to 15 miles per hour in a half second, which is like being ganked off a pier by a 500 horsepower boat hitting full throttle. John not only could have dislocated both his shoulders, but Vernon's drag created so much friction on the turf that our host's skin burned off. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this trail. <laughs> With both his pride and his body wounded, John has a plan to take Vernon Davis down. Drag me. We're going with two people now. We're going with two. 
we added another 200 pounds to the harness, tipping the scales at a whopping 360 pounds. The same weight as behemoth, Chris Jenkins. Who wants to go for a ride? But is there any way Vernon can drag the equivalent of Chris Jenkins, one of the NFL's heaviest defenders, into the end zone? Three, two, one. Ah! 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 Go! Vernon's able to stay balanced and keep his legs churning because he's running at an optimal 60-degree angle. If he runs too upright, he'll be yanked backwards. Or if he leans too far forwards, he'll lose balance and fall way short of the goal line. But by generating a thundering 1,200 pounds of force, combined with the perfect running angle, Vernon Davis could have, in fact, dragged two and a half Chris Jenkins across the goal line. You know, I hate losing. I love to win. This experiment was a victory for Vernon. But for John, it was a total drag. Look for me on Sundays, baby. <laughs>